In this video, I want to try and explain in my words what is the positive uh, ice albedo feedback. Um, as you may know, this is an important part of the case study of the Arctic for the GCE Geography at Excel exam. Now, what this is, is basically that humans trigger off climate change, you know, by releasing greenhouse gases and creating the enhanced greenhouse effect. You know, that is... Um, you know, for this thing, we know that that is what's happening and the world is warming. But we have an acceleration of warming because of something which happens naturally. This is why we have to be careful, is what, um, this, it's not theory, it's actually true, but I'll try and explain to you what I mean. What I mean is that as the world uh, warms up, there's more sun, and then the sun melts the ice in the Arctic. The ice is white. The sea is dark blue, black, it's, it's not a light colour. Now what happens when you wear something like black, the sun absorbs um, all the heat and like that's why people tend to wear dark colours in winter because it's actually the colour keeps in the heat, absorbs all the heat around. Whereas in summer people like to wear white because the light rays come and they get reflected back. So when we have the ice in the Arctic, the sun rays come and then they're reflected back. Whereas when we have the sea, the sun rays come, 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 and then they're absorbed by the sea, pulls it in. And that makes the sea temperature even warmer. So what they're saying is happening is that humans release CO2, the world heats up. Then what happens is, is that the increased sun and warmth is causes the ice to melt away. This means that there is more black colour. This um, basically takes the light rays from the sun and absorbs it because it's not like white which reflects it. And then this it leads to increased warming, melting more ice. Then there's more blackness compared to the white that absorbs more. And it's a cycle which keeps on going on. So that's why it's, it's very important because it's called a positive ice um, albedo feedback and it's very important that you mentioned that once it's been triggered it's, it's accelerated through this natural process so and the North Pole the Arctic is just it consists of ice sheets surrounding the North Pole that's all it is and in um, was it between 2004-2005 the average sea ice decreased by 14% it decreased by three times the size of the UK so, it, you know, it's been going quite rapidly. And then just imagine as that happens and this the whole thing becomes accelerated. It's like a catalyst, this albedo effect, and it increases warming. So, it's uh, when I first learned about this um, theory, I didn't quite understand it. Now I do, so I thought I'd share it with you about how I understood it and my understanding of it. I hope it helps. Please visit my blog.